coast and around the world. It's time to praise the Lord. major Christian events in America and across the world, from the heart of Europe. To the tip of Africa. From the centers of Asia. To Central and South America. to the world's largest prayer and praise gathering. Join us today from the Universal City Walk in Universal City, California for the world premiere celebration of the major motion picture, Carmen the Champion. Ready to take your calls, prayer partners from around America. Entertainment, Matt and Lori Crouch. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's main event, the title fight for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. And now is the time for everyone to make some noise in Hollywood. Let's do it right now. Come on. We are live. We are live right here from Hollywood, California. This is the City Walk. And we are going internationally from right here. Thank you so much for coming out and making this a very, 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 very special night. Right over here, Carmen. Just wave over here, Carmen. Just wave, wave, come on. There he is. It's gonna happen right here, right now. Just keep signing some autographs. Do your thing right there. And let's just stand here. Wow, my name is Matthew Crouch, and we are going absolutely nuts up here tonight. This is fantastic. And you know what? We've been asking and hoping that there would be some people out. Look at this. I mean, they're... I, you know what, give yourselves a hand and thank you for coming out and supporting what we're doing tonight. This is absolutely fantastic. Carmen, come up here and kind of welcome everybody and tell everybody hi, and you know what? He does a great job. Let's welcome Carmen to center stage. Come on, everybody. Let's give him a hand. Ladies and gentlemen, Carmen. Take it away, babe. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. How about you? How about you? Yeah, the, I love Jesus. Yes, I do. Let me hear. I love Jesus. Someone make a joyful noise in the house here tonight. Come on. I can't hear you. Is Jesus alive on the city walk tonight? They're here. They came. They're here. It is unbelievable. Look at what, I mean, just sit down for a second and just kind of look at what we're looking at tonight. I mean, this is absolutely unbelievable. This you know what? I, I mean, what, what, what do you actually say when you, when you can take a look at a monitor like this and see um, this actually take place? Well, I'm glad that I'm in the ring and, and Jeremy Williams is not in here in his trunks and boxing gloves. That's, that's, that's the joy that I find. He's not here with his 
with his uh, boxing gloves on. The last time you were in the ring, yes. there was film cameras all around us rather than television cameras. Right. And we were making the champion. Now, was it what you expected? It was a lot more work than I could have ever expected, especially um, preparing to be a, a boxer. I had no idea the training that was involved in it. It was uh, very grueling. I can't imagine somebody doing this for a living. You know what? Where's he, where's I, he at? He's, got a, he's out here somewhere. Where, we need, where is uh, we need... Jeremy Williams? Jeremy Williams, are you out here somewhere? I want you Jeremy, to be my nemesis. come on up here. Jeremy Williams is the... Um, the nemesis. Is the, is the guy that Carmen was... Let me uh, help you with the ropes here. Avoiding. Yeah, he was the one that he was avoiding. Come on with it. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stay over here, guys. Come on, come on. <laughs> I'm, here, I'm, here. <laughs> I'm staying out of this. You know what? Thanks for being here tonight. You actually haven't gotten to see the movie yet, have you? Not yet, not yet. I'm, I'm like waiting just like everybody else, man. It's, I'm like, I'm excited. I'm like, yeah. Was it, was it fun, like, using him as a punching bag? I don't know. You know, Carmen is like, um, he does everything so mechanical because he's, he's an entertainer. So, like, if I would, like, ad-lib something, it would mess him all up and he'd hit me or something like yeah. that. Or, or I'd hit him. In other words, if and he hits he's me a for big real. Guy. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't be mistake. Carmen's a big guy, and he punches hard. That last shot, the uppercut shot that takes me out in the movie, really takes me out in the movie. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, wait. Way to, like, you know... No, well, he, actually, it's a, it's a surprise ending, so you didn't no, screw anything I, up. No, I, yeah. I, get it. Yeah, I have so. to say something about that Go shot. Go ahead. I hit, him, I hit him with a shot where our timing was a little bit off. It was a little bit off. So I popped him with this shot, and it really connected. And I thought, man, I really did some damage. He gets up, he says... Hey, that was a good shot. I'm glad you pulled it. <laughs> I said, pulled it? That was everything I had. He was just scratching his face, like, you know, like Matt trying to get some gum off or something like that. If I like wanted that. to kiss, I'd go see Mommy. <laughs> now, yes. you actually come from the singing world. Is that kind of where you come from? I mean, you're, yeah. you, didn't, you, you, you're, you're not, you haven't been an actor that long. No, I haven't words. been an actor, nor have I been a boxer, and I kept reminding Jeremy of that during the, uh, the filming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kept he kept saying things to me like, "Hey man, I really like those teeth. I wonder if they'd fit me." <laughs> Come Don't on over here. The <laughs> <laughs> let, me two, let me get just two, just two of them, man. They fit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But you actually come from the it's somebody tuning in, just checking by. This looks like a huge Hollywood premiere, you know, and. You, where, where do you come well, from? I've been invo in involved with uh, uh, contemporary Christian music for about 20 some odd years. I, I lost count. Yeah, I was very young, very young. <laughs> we grew up with you. <laughs> right. Thank you. You're welcome. I was trying to avoid it, but <laughs> there it is. And uh, we did about 50 music videos, and I said, you know, it's time to just go and do the real thing. Let's 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 go and do a movie. And uh, you know, I, I was hoping I was going to get in, in there in, this, in the ring with with a, an actor who didn't know how to box so I could show my stuff. But then Jeremy <laughs> showed up, and then I began to make the sign of the cross every day before I came in. <laughs> you know what? Just to prove uh, that you actually are a singer, can you uh, introduce one of your songs? We actually have a music video. Yeah, we have the right now. We're on tour with the uh, the Heart of a Champion tour, and this is the title song for the Heart of a Champion record. It's called uh, Faith Enough. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, maybe you heard it. So I think we're going to roll it and uh, get a little preview of the movie as well. That's it. Here it comes. This is Faith Enough from The Champion. Right here at City Walk.
you, Matt, Lori. <laughs> we'll take it from here. This is actually a job for the big leagues. Folks, tonight we're here to talk to you about a man of God and a film. We're here to talk to you about a destiny and the journey that leads to it. We're here to talk about a film called The Champion. Not only a film called The Champion, but we're here to talk to you about The Champion and a man of God who calls himself a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, Carmen. Coincidence? I think not. Yes, and folks, uh, just like God took David from the pastures and put him in the palace, just like he took Paul from Damascus and put him into ministry, God took Carmen, a schlup kid from Jersey, and put him in the champion. That's right. Now, Jennifer, before we get started, I just want to let you know right up front, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to be working with such a, a professional journalist. Someone like yourself is just wonderful. You're so sharp, yet so approachable. You're so professional, yet so jovial and uh it's gonna be great working with you tonight and i just i, I feel in my heart like you, you feel the same way about me well, thank you thank you trey and you know what i just want to tell you that you may not be the most talented guy on the planet you know and you may not be the quickest or the sharpest and we all know it's kind of hard to hold a conversation with someone who's just darn right boring <laughs> but you know what you're still going to heaven and don't let anybody mock you no matter how stupid you act okay okay thanks jen that's enough thanks a lot <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's from the heart, sure, of course. Why don't we move on before you feel the need to uh, encourage me some more? Yeah, I'm here for you, too. Yeah, I know you are. Okay, tonight, big film. Big fans, big stars, big impact. Big mouth. Yeah. All right, let's just focus on the camera right there. Hello, people of God. Hello, saints of the Most High. Hello, you holy love vessels of peace. Hello, you frontline soldiers of the Lord. Hello, you royal priesthood with righteousness and power, huh? Redeem light warriors with the authority to trample and serpents and scorpions and over all the attacks of the enemy. The anointed ones. The saved. The baptized. The chosen. The sanctified. The purified. The, the, the petrified. The, the petrified? What, what are you talking about, the petrified? Oh, you made me nervous. I forgot. I thought you were a professional. I am when you're not around. Oh, well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. We've got a show to do, okay? Fine. Friends? Friends? Okay. All right, let's move on. We got an interview right here, right here. We got a couple of kids that have been waiting here all night long to see this movie, be a part of the action. Okay. All right, what's your name? Andrew. Andrew. How old are you, Andrew? Twelve. The young crowd. Excellent. Okay, Andrew, what is your favorite Carmen song? Think carefully. You know, I don't really have a favorite because they're all really good. Okay, let's move on. All right. Uh, okay. Hi, what's your name? David. David. Hey, how's it going, David? David, what is your favorite Carmen video? Uh, I don't have one. They're all so good, so. I got one. I got one. Um, Mission 316. Mission 316. Yeah! Great video. That is a great video. I tell you what. Well, you guys, you know, we know that you're looking forward to getting on in there, you know, being a part of the action. So we're, we're going to go back to you, Matt. Let me ask you a question, Carmen. Yes. Tell me, you know, when you when you actually kind of look around and see and feel the environment of what we're actually experiencing, what do you what are you thinking? I'm a nervous wreck. <laughs> I, you know, I you know when you see yourself up on the screen, you're you're just you're so judgmental and you see everything wrong and you see every wrinkle, you see every and and facial inflection and you say, oh, should I, uh, should I have smiled there? Should I have frowned? Should yeah. I have done more? Yeah. Should I, I mean, you're so critical of yourself. It's hard to watch it objectively. Mm. You know, you, you're looking around wondering if anyone saw what you just saw. So, you know, it's hard to watch yourself. For me, yeah. it's hard. That's very difficult to watch myself. It's very easy to watch Patricia Mantorola on there. Um, she's very easy. Uh, Jeremy, I mean, he's, he's just as mean as ever. <laughs> He's just a mean, mean guy, you know. <laughs> I say, go Orlando, <laughs> you know. Get Carmen out of there, Orlando. I want to meet Orlando, tell you the truth. I Absolutely. need him. <laughs> I need him you in know, my life. Just think of, of actually, you know, what we, what we asked, you know, when we, when we started working together on this, on this project and we said, you know what, we want to make impact. You know, of course, there's a lot of things that we don't know, but there's a lot of talented people involved in this production. I mean, Lee, uh, Lee Stanley is a seven-time Emmy Award winner. Um, Jay Arlen um, was in The Patriot with Mel Gibson. 
uh, Patricia Mantorola. She's a, 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 a star in, in, the, in, the, in the Latin market. She's recorded records. You can go into any record store and get a record. She was the, in the Spanish version of Charlie's Angels. Um, she was on soap operas. She's been acting since she was eight years old. Jeremy Williams is a professional fighter. I mean, he's going to be fighting for a championship um, in, in a short amount of time. Uh, Steve Albert, the fight announcer, he's announcing the Holyfield fight this coming weekend with John Ruiz for the uh, Hol Holyfield four-time world champion. I mean, the cast is surrounded by talent. Uh, Michael Nori from Flashdance and uh, Finding Forrester. I mean, everybody that's involved in it is talent. And when you get that much talent together, they all um, help each other to go up to another level. Right. Right. So you got a lot of talent in there. You got a lot of people with a lot of skills. You just put them in the mix together, and you're going to come up with something great. of the year, if not the decade. Leone was doing more than holding his own. He's giving the champ a run for his money, and he's making it personal. Freddie, put, put in the commercial too, man. This is good. This is good. Freddie, put in the commercial, man. Make her stop. We're all in the commercial. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's, it's rough life being me. <laughs> Keyshawn said we were going to be in his commercial. He told you that? Yeah. Well, Keyshawn says a lot of things. Hey, this is for you. Teresa, is that right? Does it matter? And that's for you. That you take care of your airfare home. 
Have a good day, ladies. The guy here just got out of some quantum, needs a place to stay. He says he knows you. Yeah, yeah, come on up. I'll be back. Uh, this is Victor Michelson. Mr. Leone. How you doing, Vic? I'm doing good. You don't remember me, do you? No. We met at the center. I knew your pops real well. I was uh, one of the dumb ones, wouldn't listen. Um, I'm really sorry about what happened. M maybe I could help some of these kids see the light, you know what I'm saying? Before it's too late. You know, I mean, I learned my lesson, you know, now I want to help others, you know? Help them go straight so they don't have to go through what I went through. Here's a letter from the Board of Prisons and one from the chapel. So it's, so it's true, the story about you spending three or four million for this building for uh, kids and, uh, and uh, knuckleheads like me? No. This was my father's. That's mine, still vacant. Bernard will take you through the rest of the procedures. Uh, listen, can you wait outside for a second, please? Yeah, sure, no problem. Yo, Victor. God bless you, man. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. Orlando, I only have a minute. I'm on my way to San Diego. Best I can do is buy you a couple of months to come up with a balloon payment, or I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to foreclose. I understand. Look, kid, when you put the big down payment on this place, you were the champ. In all due respect, things are different now. What about Alfredo? Now, I know there's some bad blood between you two, but you ought to give him a call. Mr. Edlin, thank you for the extension. I appreciate it. All right, champ. Gotta go. away from water. I pay you not to let him drink. Yo, where my girls at? Buddha, pull over. Turn that crap off. What? I thought I told you no booze. Look at me when I talk to you. September 7th, you fight the biggest fight of your life. No booze, no women. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. Okay, Buddha. doing here? Orlando. Take this. What is this? I took a loan out on the house. 
Ma, this is not going to save the building. Orlando, if we lose this building, we lose everything. I know. I know. Believe me. I know. <sighs> Sometimes I just don't understand God. Papa was a good man. He loved people. He was always there for me. They are toe to toe in the center of the ring. A wild exchange, frenetic pace. And Higgins is down. The referee steps in and he has stopped the fight. Orlando? Come on. You have people waiting for you. Who won? Never mind who won. Bobby Van. Knock him out. Just come on, okay? Come, come on, let's go. I didn't break your neck. Come on, get up. Gonna cut out cops? Worse. I'm gonna call your mother. Uh, huh. What is this? Yo, preacher man! Yo, Big Mike. Give it up, Holmes. The stuff belongs to me, I say. You talking about this? You know, you're a bad example for the youth. Let's not be messing in my business, preacher man. Later, fool. Come down to the church sometime. For fellowship. Somebody to hug somebody you don't know. Hug somebody you don't know. Come on. 
Everybody needs it. What are you waiting for, a full Christmas? Nah, it's just... Oh, he's got a gun. What up, Big Mike? Just trying to find God, sir. Do you know where we can find him? What are you guys doing? To Madre. Mama knows. Mikey. You try to have a very safe evening, okay, officer? Okay. Every day you will come here and you'll work for me. What? You are done running the streets. That's the deal. You ain't my father. Well, maybe you need one. Caesar? Mrs. Herrera? Why is my son handcuffed to this chair? You're Caesar's mother? I'm his mother. Now please answer my question. Well, because your son... I broke his car window. Accidentally. That's it? Were you expecting more? I apologize for Caesar, Mr. Leone. Leone. He's a preacher, Mama. If you don't mind, I have to get back to work. How much do we owe you? Nothing. Well, Caesar has agreed to work around the center here for me. So, Caesar, eight o'clock. I expect to see you here sharp. Let's go. Can I uh, walk you out? No, that's not necessary. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Herrera. Give me that bike. Help me out. Get into the car. Get in. You broke into his car, didn't you? I don't appreciate being called away from my work all the time because of you, Cesar. No more, okay? No more. He's a boxer, Mama. Who? The preacher. He was the world champion. He didn't hit you, did he? No. He made me go to church. Where'd you get it? You know a kid named uh, Cesar Herrera? This is? I got it off of one of his homies. He tried to bust in the car last night. He's a wannabe. Been down the station a couple times. Slings dope for the Stoners gang. Mm. Hey, you seen that kid's mother? Yep. Takes a tall, dark-skinned gal. Make a preacher lay his Bible down. What about his father? I don't know, man. Maybe he ain't got one. Hey, I was talking to the assistant DA last night. No problem getting you a permit to carry a piece. You know, I think preachers do better when they carry Bibles instead of guns. Yeah, well, you've been drawing some pretty hard lines with them gangsters, man. That's why we got guys like you. Protect and serve. You sure you don't want to go a couple rounds, huh? Uh, nope. Not tonight. I go, man. 
And when you gonna give that job up? When it's time. When it's time. Yes, Mr. Lawrence. Get up to 12 now. I'm on my way. Don't ask. Just deal with it. I guess you're all under arrest, eh? Get over here, champ's doing his thing again. What? You better hurry, man. All right, I'm on my way. Keisha, what did I do to deserve you? Sound, there are other people in this hotel. So, if you. No, come on. All right, here's the deal. Anybody who is not a registered guest at this hotel is out of here. The party is hey, over. Hey, punk. You know how sweet this is? Wait, chump. Hey, man, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hey, Corey. Get off of me. Whoa, 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 whoa. That fool upstairs is insane. You mean Keyshawn? Yes, I do mean Keyshawn. Whoa. Wait, wait a second. We can make this thing all right. Huh? I don't know what happened up there, but... All right, let's just take care of it, okay? Everybody's going with me if somebody doesn't talk to me. Now, what happened to the girl? Officer, the girl is fine. I just put her in a cab. Turn that off. Get that out of my face. And who are you? I'm Mr. Banks' attorney. I said turn that Turn it off. Officer, I'm the hotel manager. Look, everything seems to be under control. Isn't that right, Champ? Now, would you come with me, please, both of you? Come here. Come here. Now, with your permission, my security chief, Mr. Leone, will escort everyone who was not supposed to be here out of my hotel. Still cleaning toilets for LaRocco, huh? 
Officer, I've instructed my client not to answer any questions. Unless somebody here has a specific complaint, I suggest we just call it a night, okay? No, it's not a night. Hey, 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 champ. Oh. Hey, chill. Chill. You better call me client down. Champ or no champ, I will take him in. I will, officer. I appreciate your patience. Thank you very much, Buddha. It ain't over between you and me, Mr. Security Punk. It ain't over between you and me, you understand? Now I know who you are. I was at your last fight when you won the title, and I thought you were down for the count. Yeah, a few people thought I was down for the count. Okay, people, party is over. Let's go. The door's over here. Thank you for coming. Good night. Thank you. Gotta get a new home for you. Get you some new friends. New friends. Just a little head rush. Well, you know, that is a pretty bad whack you took. Yeah. I wish you stayed the night, champ. Uh, I'll be all right. I've had worse. You better go hide that puppy. <laughs> You know where I got that? From that nice kid downstairs. You are aware that our champion has the fight of his career come September? Can't make odds on a fight with a world champion because some washed up punk security guard knocked some cuckoo in a hotel room. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. LaRocco. I... Oh. He's sorry, Anna. He's killing me. And he's sorry. Fight's canceled, Freddy. You just cost me a lot of money. Mr. LaRocco, I'll find a way to fix everything. You'll do exactly as I say, Freddy. Because if you don't, What's that? 
don't know. What is it? That is our new mascot. have a perfect will for your life and he understands the desires of your heart because he put those desires there but we have to have patience and that's the tough part so I'm gonna ask you to do this one little thing before we leave I'm gonna ask you to grab hands of the person next to you very quickly we're gonna have a word of prayer just bow your heads Heavenly Father we thank you for tonight for watching over us and for changing our lives watch over us as we go home in Jesus name and everybody said Amen. Amen. You are dismissed. Mrs. Rary. Hi. It's so good to see you again. I'm um, here to pick up my son. That was very nice. Mrs. Rary. Alia. Alia. This is Alfredo, my brother better known as Freddy. Nice to meet you. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, do you mind if I have a word with my brother? I'll be with you in a minute. Oh, no, no, please. I um, just need to get my son home. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you, too. See you upstairs. I'll be there. Mm. Mm. We have coffee and cookies and and stuff tomorrow. I'll be right back. Just be a minute. Um, okay. Okay. Hello, little brother. So brings you to church. I'm here to make your dream come true. Really? Orlando Leone. He was the champ once. Keyshawn Banks. He is the champ now. Out of my way, Chelsea. <laughs> Or is he? You read about it in the papers. Now see these champion gladiators as they face off for the cruiserweight title of the world. Orlando, the Preacher Leone, versus Keyshawn, the Butcher Banks. It's the Saint versus the Sinner at the Olympic Auditorium on September 7th. Judgment Day falls. And so will he. What are you doing, Freddy? Here's the deed to your dream. Where'd you get this? I bought it from Edlin. It's yours free and clear. All you gotta do is show up September 7th and the building's yours. I also got you one million dollars guaranteed up front with odds at 20 to one. I'm not a fighter. I must be in the wrong place. You're not a fighter. Golden gloves, Olympics, 10 years as a pro. Wake up, Orlando. This, this is what you do. This is who you are. Not anymore. Orlando, that, that lucky punch that you threw at Keyshawn destroyed the odds on our fight. We had to cancel it. it left us with an open slot, and, uh, well, guess who's gonna fill the slot? If I don't do this fight, you're gonna take that building from me? Is that what it is, Freddy? Why do you always have to make it sound like I'm a bad guy? Get out of here. Hey, oh, oh, get out of here, Buddha. It's all right. Buddha, wait outside. I want to talk to my brother. You know, I come here to do something for you, to help you out. The least you can do is show a little gratitude. This is garbage. Edlin would never sell me Edlin out. Edlin didn't sell you out. I bought you out. And who are you to talk about selling out? Did you really think that I would ever take a dive in a championship fight? You would have had another shot in six months for twice the money. You sold me out. 
You sold out the family. You sold out the ministry. We're talking about boxing here. We're not talking about some Sunday school outing here, all right? You don't say no to LaRocco. He says you go down, you go down. And I'll tell you something else. The only reason that you're alive today is because of me. Get out of here. You really hate me, don't you? I pity you. You pity me? That's interesting, because I'm not behind the payments. That's your dream. It's not mine. I'll tell you something. You don't go into the ring on September 7th, I'm selling the dream to the highest bidder. It's all about the money, isn't it? That's what that's about. That is about honoring Papa. Yeah, well, we'll see what bank is going to uh, honor your righteousness as collateral. You'll call me. Excuse me, sir. We can't find Caesar. All right. When did you last see him? He was here earlier before the service. I left my son here with you. Where is he? He's not in the building. I looked for him everywhere. I even checked the parking lot. Have you checked your home? Orlando, maybe we should call the police. Give me the keys to the truck. Where are you going? I'm going to go find Caesar. I'm going with you. What about the boy's father? You think you could be with him? How about at your work? Why are you asking all these questions? He's not allowed to run the restaurant anymore, okay? Just find my little boy, please. Hey! Have you seen Caesar? He's my son. Have you seen him? Stopping. Look, fishing boy. Caesar! Oh. I was so worried. Goldie got out. I had to go find her. What do you always have to worry for? for helping. You're very welcome. Caesar's father was the youth leader of the church. He's back in Florida somewhere. Caesar has never met him. Mm -hmm. When I told his father I was pregnant, he freaked out and left the youth group and everything. <laughs> nice guy. Yeah. That's what I thought. I was 15 at the time. Then when Caesar was born, I mailed his father a picture. He sent it back and told me never to contact him again. After that, I wanted nothing to do with the church. I still very much believe I just need some time. So, um, I've been sitting here rambling. <laughs> Too much information, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, uh, I'm enjoying this. So, what about you, Mr. Orlando Leone? Preacher, boxer extraordinaire? Where's your wife and ten children? Uh. I think when I was fighting, I just, I just put my heart and passion into that. Then when this you sent came up, I put my heart and passion into that. So far, so good. So far. 
Aren't you supposed to come around and open my door or something like that? Something like that. I haven't kissed anybody in a long time. Then we should practice. <coughs> what are you looking at? Looking for you, Holmes. How you feeling today, partner? Huh? You don't look so hot. Don't act like you don't know what's up, Holmes. Huh? Get over here, I say. Venga! Where's my pistola? Donde esta mi drogas? We saw a preacher with the drugs. He took little drugs gun, too. No, 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 no. It was your piece and your drugs. That's 400 for the Glock, 75 for the crack. Plus 50 a day interest. That's 575 you owe me, S.A. Start working it off. Did you know this used to be a hospital? But this was Papa's dream. This is what he wanted to do. He wanted to build a place where people could get saved and also have a place to live until they get their lives put back together. So, uh, what do you think? Well, I think it's a long time for a building like this to be empty. Yeah, but it won't be much longer. I'm sorry, but from what you've told me, I don't know how you're gonna do it. Leah, it's faith. That's how I live. That's what got all this in the first place. Faith, plus three million you're in the ring. You invested your time and, and your security for a building that now could be taken away from you in 30 days. So, uh, I think I'm beginning to understand why you never committed to anyone. Gotta go. What did you mean by what you said back there? I care about you. Estoy un poco loca, but I just don't want to end up like this building. Johnny. Hey, what's up, man? I can talk to you. Yeah. I know it's gonna sound crazy. I'm gonna fight Banks for the belt. Oh, Keyshawn Banks? Mm -hmm. Hey, what you been smoking, man? No, straight up. I am fighting Keyshawn Banks for the championship belt, September 7th, Olympic Auditorium. Yeah, so it's true, huh? You really did knock him out. He was drunk. September 7th. Are you crazy, man? A little bit. Yeah, well, I hope they're paying you some serious change for that, man. Who's your trainer gonna be? You. <laughs> it's being called the fight of the decade. Payback for Keyshawn Banks' first unofficial loss. 
back in a hotel room last month to a security guard. But not just any security guard, it was Orlando Leone who surprised the boxing world when he took out the champ with one punch. Gentlemen, thank you for coming. Orlando Leone has challenged our champion, and we have accepted. On September 7th, Keyshawn Banks will step into the ring, and he will once again show the world why, pound for pound, he is the greatest fighter in the world. Keyshawn, what's your prediction for the fight? Total destruction. Yours or Leone's? You think I'm playing? I get done with him, even God wouldn't recognize him. Any other questions? You're gonna fight the champion of the world September 7th, right? That's right. So the shape you're in now is basically the shape you're going to be in come fight. So relax. It's not exactly a comforting thought. Orlando, come on, man. You've kept yourself in great shape. You're over here every day. There's not a guy in here can lay a glove on you. I'm not fighting any of these guys. I'm fighting killer Keyshawn Banks, the who knows what from who knows where. You were champion of the world, right? Well, you know how when you're the champion, everything you do, every minute of the day has to do with being the champ? Well, with Keyshawn Banks, it ain't exactly like that now, is it? Where are you going with this? Where I'm going with this, my brother, is that dude is out with the ladies, partying all night, drinking gin and juice. Now, that don't make him an unworthy opponent. Just gives you a better shot at not getting killed. You have a good day. Hi, Leah. Hi, Johnny. You're serious about this fire? Yeah. I'm dead serious. Boxing champion of the whole wide world, of that. That was ten years ago. Well, is it like riding a bike or swimming? But you know how you don't forget. When a fighter gets older, certain things happen to their body. Like um, the first thing that goes is your legs, which means you don't have the ability to get yourself out of danger. And then the next thing that happens is you lose your speed, which means for a, for a boxer your speed is everything. So you throw a punch and you're trying to hit something, but the head keeps moving. So every punch you throw, you keep missing, you keep missing. And then the worst thing happens is you lose your reflexes. You see a punch coming, and you can't get out of the way. That's when people get hurt. But the thing that makes the difference is the kill factor. It's the part of you that has that, that killer instinct that says, I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to tear this guy's head off. See, it's been 10 years. I don't know if I can get that back. Then don't fight. You want to tell me what's going on with you and your brother? It's an opportunity. The minute that I step into the ring, all of Papa's dreams get fulfilled. We'll have enough money to pay for the whole thing, even renovate the place, all of it. And you and Freddy are on the same page? Yes. A hundred percent.
Mr. Larocco? Mrs. Larocco? Hello, Freddy. Aren't you hot in that black suit? I'm fine. Freddy, my man. We have an announcement to make. Your brother, Orlando Leone, is going to be our next cruiserweight champion of the world. Hey, is, uh, is Keyshawn in all of this? I don't think so. You haven't told him yet. Uh, with all due respect, sir, Keyshawn Banks, uh, at this point, would like nothing better than to knock my brother's head off. I mean, this is not going to happen. No way. Mr. LaRocco, when Keyshawn hears he has to take a dive for a security guard, he won't even step in the ring. Goodbye, Freddy. Everybody, work your body, Chair. Come on, work your body. One, two, combination. Come on, get in. Is he OK? He, he looks tired. All right, time. That's it, champ. That's it. Touch gloves. Here we go. All right, let's get that headgear off, huh? Mouthpiece. And what is she running the show from now on, or what? That's right, Bato. Oh, you want to come in here and say that? Hey, hey, hey. Well, you know, well, well, well by the way, look. you know what? Yes. All right, come on. Bring it on. Okay. Bring it you'll on. see, you'll see now. Bring it on. Bring it on. Get your hair. Oh, you'll see your hair. Okay, get your hair. You will see, all right? You want to put some lipstick on? Come on. I'll put some perfume. Oh! Did you see that? Okay, that's it. That's come it. Come on, come on. Come on, cover up, champ. What are you doing? Give me your best shot. Okay. <laughs> She's getting the best of you, champ. Cover up, cover up. <laughs> it's illegal. Yeah, it's illegal. Oh. Why did you see what she just. Orlando, don't play around. Come on. Orlando. 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 Come on. Orlando. What's the Your brother's fortunate that that blow from the baseball bat didn't kill him. But the trauma did lead to a condition known as radical Parkinsonism. Doctor, so we don't waste any more of your valuable time, please, if you would, just tell us what medications Mr. Leone needs, and we'll all go on with our day. I don't think you're hearing me. Th there is no medication, no treatment for this. If this man takes another blow to the head, he could die. Look, you are playing Russian roulette if you get back in the ring. One good punch, and you could be dead before you reach the ER. Doctor, would you excuse us for a moment, please? Hmm? Doctor, let me have a word with you, please. All right, I'll be in the next room. Oh, thank you, but we just want to have a word with my brother. Mr. Morocco, this doesn't look good. It's gonna be fine, Freddy. It's gonna be fine. It will be okay, won't it, kid? Oh, yeah. Because I'm not stepping in the ring on Saturday night. The fight's off. No. Not off. You are gonna step into the ring on Saturday night. And you are most certainly going to fight. I don't think you're hearing me. You are not hearing me. That was a very bad year because of you. And obviously, a very bad year for your father. What are you saying? When you didn't take a dive like you were supposed to, you made me suffer. You make me suffer, I make you suffer. What goes around comes around. Killed my father. 
Don't break any bones, Buddha. We need a clean bill of health for our fighter on Saturday night. Let go. Freddy, do you know anything about this? Just the Loraco. I tell you what. Why don't we dedicate this fight to your mother? You can do it for mom, can't you, kid? Oh, yeah. Mom. I knew we'd have a meeting of the minds. Freddy. Keep my left up around you. <laughs> Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Want this? <laughs> yes. Nice dog, Holmes. You don't behave too well, though. Give me my dog. <laughs> Set him up. I got over the end. And don't mess up, S.A. Welcome to La Casa de Maria. I need to talk to Leah. Carmen Sara, Mexican style. Wonderful. There's someone here to see you. Excuse me for a second. Okay. Hi. Hi. I need to talk to you. Okay. I, I, just for a moment, I promise. Hear what you said. What you say? Yes. Yes, Orlando Leone. I will marry you. Someone's here to see you. Come on. Hi, Caesar. 
Why is he here? Well, your mother and I have decided to get married. To each other. Is that okay with you? Honey. What's the matter? I thought you'd be happy. Nothing's the matter. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry. I didn't expect this. I don't think he did either. Let's get to work. Get in here. Get mouthpiece in, huh, Doc? All right, we got two minute rounds, guys. Come on, come on. Some fire and touch gloves. Let's come out now. Let's go. Come on. All right, here we go. There you go. How you doing? All right. Want to talk? I think we'll go for a ride. Meet you down at the wash. All right. Caesar, I've never done anything like this before. I mean, been married. I'm gonna need some help, too. Is there anything you want to ask me? I mean, anything you're concerned about. Stay in a car. Stay back.
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to one of the most off-the-wall matchups we've seen in quite a while. Well, Steve, that certainly is true, because up until last month, tonight's card was supposed to be Keyshawn Banks against Juan Carlos, as you know. But when it became publicized that Orlando Leone, a former champ working as a security guard, knocked out Banks with one punch, things changed rather quickly. Lord, we pray you'd give Orlando the strength of a Samson, the courage of Caleb, and the heart of David. Lord, protect this warrior as he lays it on the line for you tonight. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Hi. Hi. Just want to tell you we love you. Nervous? Uh, a bullfight, huh? Moment of truth. You always fought for what was right. Like Pop. I always respected that. Hated you for it, too. At times that I, uh, I hated Pop, too. But in my own way, I... I loved him as much as you did. And I never would have done anything to deliberately hurt him. Uh, by the way, third round, champ's gonna take a fall. I know you'll do the right thing, you always have. Take care out there, champ. Keyshawn. I ain't taking no dive. You know, three years ago, you were roaming the streets, picking up old ladies and beating them up for chump change. I took you in. I gave you a place to live. I created you. I said I created you. That means when your head hits the canvas tonight, and it will hit that canvas tonight, my young friend, in the third round. You'll be free-falling into a comforter stuffed with five million dollars. A couple of months in Vegas, kicking back with the ladies you won't even remember this night. Make myself clear? Yeah. Excuse me? You understand what you're saying? You make it look good. Seamless. Oh, uh, by the way, preacher's got a brain problem. Don't hit him in the head. What? Have a good fight, champ. It's me. Listen, I want to place a million. Now, you heard me. Just do it. All right? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's main event. The title fight for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World! Come on, Ma. What an incredible... 
incredible atmosphere here in this packed arena tonight. Here comes the challenger. in a professional bout in 10 years. Well, that obviously doesn't seem to bother this crowd. This historic place is on fire. And it's going to get even hotter. Here's your champion, Keisha the Butcher. Again with his usual swagger. I tell you, the crowd absolutely loves this guy. Always brimming with confidence. And now Banks and Leone go face to face. And look at the way they're circling each other, taunting as the mind game begins. Banks and Leone. And this fight could break out earlier than planned. Let's go up to ring announcer Gary Berman for the official introduction. In the red corner, the former WBA Cruiserweight Champion and Olympic Bronze Medalist from Los Angeles, California, Orlando, the preacher, Leone. And in the blue corner, Wayne. 190 pounds of unrelenting destruction from Las Vegas, Nevada. With a record of 23 wins, 21 knockouts, the undefeated, undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world, Keisha the Butcher. Gentlemen, you both on the rules. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Let's rock and roll. Second time. There you have the final instructions. As both fighters seem eager to get this showdown started, we get set for the opening round. It's all yours, brother. Go get it. Leone who throws the first punch. A pulling jab easily blocked by Banks. And once again, it's the challenger Leone looking to dictate the fight here at the outset as he presses the attack, looking to be the aggressor. There you go. Come on. But wait, Banks able to spin Leone around. And the challenger finally gets his wake-up call. Leone grabs Banks and ties him up. Double left hook. The crowd isn't very happy with Keyshawn's performance here in the first round, and I have to say, Bill, that I agree with them. Leone, on the other hand, looked sharper after 10 years than I thought possible, actually. How are you feeling, champ, huh? Good. Yeah. Well, as we get ready to start round two, we'll see if Keyshawn's trainers have figured out what the problem is. Hooks! Come on, man. Come on, chance. See what you got. What is Leone doing? Leone? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. What are you doing? You can't. Get your hands up! Come on your face! 
Leone's not being too wise here. He shouldn't be lowering his hands like that. Once again, Keyshawn blows a good opportunity as Leone spins out of the corner. I don't know if like the looks of what this fight is turning into. I don't want any more, you know the rules. I want a boxing match. Fox! Whoa! What a blistering assault by Banks. He suddenly has Leone reeling. Fight! Fight! Get your, Let's get your corner. It just shows the kind of explosive power he can demonstrate when he actually wants to turn it on. He really can turn it on. What are you doing out there, huh? Don't be acting cocky. Cocky, get you hurt. This kid's young, you're not. Shut up, I ain't trying to hit. I'm tired of holding this bum up. This is your round. This is round three. Second down. Let's go. Second down. Well, there's no fooling around this round as Leone dashes out and attacks Banks with a quick combination of punches. Keyshawn suddenly rises to his feet. He just nailed Leone with four straight big right hands. You're a dead man, Keyshawn. You're dead. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah. Fight. Yeah. Right. Finally, this is turning into a fight. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's on <laughs> <third> <laughs> and him. <laughs> I don't know if that was an accident. Keyshawn is on a rampage. Yeah. And there's the bell signaling the end of round three. You're a boxer. I want you to box. All right? Mr. Rock, I think you better get out of here. Give him some water. Give him some water. Oh. Listen, 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 listen. You want to win this? You got to wear him out. Come on, now. Get off. You got to wear him out. Are you all right? Oh, talk to me. Talk to me. Left to the body. Take it upstairs. Go. You knock him down.
run for his money. That's 20 million sounds. I bet the whole thing on you. Your dream, your dream has come true. What? Yes, you bet it. You bet it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new cruiserweight champion of the world, the pitcher, Orlando Leone Jr.
kidding? We are right here in Universal City at the City Walk. And we have some wild and crazy people. Come on with it. Let me hear it for Faith and Up. Is it over? Is it over? It's over. And they're coming out. They're coming out in droves. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your heart pounding so hard? Because it's over. <laughs> this is great. Are you kidding? We are having a fun time. Thanks a lot, Matt. We're here with Jane Russell. Jane, you have done some great films. You're a wonderful actress, and we just want to know what you think of this. I thought it was really very good. Good, good. Praise God. Indeed, and it, I, I knew that Carmen was one of the best entertainers around, but I didn't know he was also one of the best fighters. Boy, that's a real fight picture. Can you believe it? Homeboy can act. I'm telling you. Uh, is, is there any particular... Um, is there any particular uh, scene that uh, that Christians can can cheer? You know. Oh, I, I think the whole thing is uh, it's act, it's just excellent. It's a solid film from beginning to end, isn't it? And it, it, he can fight too. I heard some of those scenes were real. Did you did you know that? That's what I mean. I did had no idea it was. It, if you want to see a fight, come see a fight. We're here with Gavin and Patty. What'd you guys think? Come on, just tell me the truth. I want to tell you this is a big winner. Carmen is great, the, the movie is great. Hi, girls. And you're great. But no, I think this is one of, the, one, of the, one of the best fight pictures I've ever seen. That's what everyone's saying. And uh, this one is, is, is aces because the Lord is in it. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, every actor was right on the money and more so. Carmen, to see him for the first time acting, I want to tell you, he has got it. Good. And um, Michael Norrie, we followed his career, and Jed Allen, an old friend of ours, played the heavy in it. it was, it's a wonderful picture, and we look forward to seeing it again. Good, good. Patty, what'd you think? I was pleasantly surprised because, you know, I thought I would have to hide my eyes during a lot of the picture, and I did a, little, a few times, but I really, really enjoyed it. Uh-huh. Good deal, good deal. It's too bad the young lady in it was so unattractive. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. She was wonderful. Wonderful. Absolutely, yeah. It's just a great. Tell us her name. Patricia. 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 Well, my Mon name's Monterola. Uh huh. We really enjoyed it very I much. I really believe that Carmen and Patricia had something going. You know what I mean? I really believe that relationship. And who knows? <laughs> Are you suggesting method acting? No, we're looking forward to see Car uh, 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 Champion Two. Yeah, Amen. The Deuce. The deuce! Yeah! <laughs> More champion. Okay, well, thank you so much. It was great and to be uh, here. we just love you guys. Matt, back to you. Okay, sweetie, take it away. Gavin and Patty, I love you. <laughs> we are here tonight. Look who's joined us. I know this is a friend of yours, Carmen. I am very proud of this man here. What a great film. What a great story. Now, how do you, you know Carmen through what? Well, about six years ago, when I became a Christian, living here in Hollywood, um, I started watching Carmen's videos and some of his music and whatnot, and it really helped me get through some really rough transitions. So I called the guy up. I sent some messages to his office, and I said, hey, I need a friend in the business. So he's been such a doll. He is a sweetheart. What did you think about this film? I thought it was very exciting, really involving, um, really well made. Uh, I thought all the performances were heartfelt. They were terrific. I'm a real Michael Nori fan. I think he's a really good, act, really strong actor. And um, I, this guy here too, man. He really, he was amazing. <laughs> wow. And Carmen was you, great. I had you don't know how happy it is when Judge Reinhold said that he laughed. He was sitting by me, and I kept, I kept going like this, <laughs> making sure I'm like, oh, did he laugh? Did he laugh? Ask my wife, hey, did, is he laughing? <laughs> <laughs> the commercial scene that he did was a highlight for me, one of the highlights for me. Yeah, it was great. Anything for the ladies in this movie, or is it all just kind of blood and guts? No, I think it's a really sweet story as far as, like, a mother's love for her son and, and just what different relationships are and how they're built. It was great. I liked it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, and you kind of just hold your breath during the fight scene because you don't want to see him be punched one more time, you know? Like, they were really well made. Yeah. They're really well done. Yeah, I like the way it was shot a lot. It was a really good looking film. Tell me what you think. What I think about, I, I'm a big Judd Reinhold no, fan. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Did you enjoy the movie? I completely enjoyed the movie. Yeah, it was wonderful. 
And uh, I, I just, the energy, it reminds me of, uh, reminds me of when I went to see Rocky. They, the kind of the energy that was in the theater was like that. Yeah, nice twist though. You didn't, I didn't expect, uh, um, what's his name to be, I mean, the, his character to be told to, to take a, you know, to take a dive. I didn't expect that at all. It was a nice twist. Matt, we are here and we are still excited. And guess what we have? We have Carmen's Pastors with us. Yes, indeedy do da day. Pastor Mel and Desiree Ayers of In His Presence Church in Studio City. And I just got to ask you this. I got to ask you this. What in the world is it like to be Carmen's covering? Uh, Carmen doesn't have a covering. He, he's a great guy. He's awesome. He's been a wonderful, wonderful friend to us. Been a great blessing to the ministry. And uh, it's been a privilege and an honor to be his friend and his pastor. And he's just been a blessing. Pastor Desiree, any thoughts? We are so proud of you, Carmen. You did an awesome job. Incredible fight scenes, the love romance. Oh my gosh, I, I, I think he's gonna get married. Yeah, you but got to get married without ever dating her. I love that. what do you think? I thought this film was great. I thought it, it was a film for everybody, a film that the whole family can go see. And you know what? I rooted for these guys. I rooted for Carmen. I rooted, I even rooted for Jeremy, you know? I was like, get him, hit him, hit him. You know what? The boxing footage was great. I think all these fans out here, you know, you know how cold it is out here? Out there, you don't know how cold it is right here where we're standing. And all these fans. There they are. Come on, give yourselves a hand. Come on. We're right here at the city walk. Keep going, Gil. That just, uh, you know what? That goes to show you how much Carmen is loved, how much you know, this movie, this movie is gonna, is gonna do great. Everybody's gonna go see it. They're gonna tell friends to go see it. And I'll tell you what, I'm a new fan of Carmen too. I'm a bigger fan now. A brother from another mother, right here. This is Andre Crouch and Sandra, his twin sister. Now, be honest with us, what'd you think? I thought it was fabulous. This is my son here. This is my daddy right here. <laughs> And uh, it, it was just incredible. Uh, he's all buffed, looking well, and uh, I thought it was... The only thing missing from the movie was me. <laughs> <laughs> it was missing me. I'll, I'll be in the next one, won't I? I, got, I, I have to say something. Uh, 25 years ago, oh. um, somebody took me to Disneyland to go hear Night of Joy. And I was not a Christian, and I was singing in Vegas and in clubs and everything, and I heard... Andre Krauts singing, It won't be long, <laughs> so we will be leaving here. <laughs> and then he sang, uh, Just like you said he would, he's coming back for me. That's it. It's weak and love and I. For the very first time, I felt the presence of God, and Sandra was there and had with the most anointed tambourine you have ever heard. And this family, the very next day, made me want to say yes to Jesus. Wow. I became born again the next day, and he became my daddy in the Lord. And I have, for the following quarter of a century, I have tried to go on and pass on um, a fraction of the anointing wow. that I felt that night. Wow. So when I saw him here, I said, my daddy's here. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support. We love you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Come on. This program has been brought to you through the prayers and contributions of our faithful partners throughout North America and the world.